Hey there, everybody. My name is Leland Clausen, and today I'm talking about Mexico. Mexico. I went to Mexico a few times, and I want to tell you about the trips and how much fun I had. This is a shirt I got in Mexico. Hello. There's a, I think it's a Mexican brand. Solo no, or whatever. <laughs> I believe that's a correct pronunciation. Um, so I made a, I made a couple trips. Uh, I guess the first one would have been a cruise ship. We just kind of did a little port and it wasn't like Cozumel or something like that. I forget where it was. It's the middle of the, it's the middle of a bush is what it was. Everyone's like, oh, you're doing a cruise. I was doing some comedy on a cruise ship and they were like, oh, so you were going to Cozumel? And I think we were supposed to. And then they like changed it and, uh, and they're like, well, where did you end up going? And I was like, it was literally, literally, there was forest all around and then a little, a little port thing. And we just pulled in there. There's nothing around there. I don't know. It was the weirdest stop, and then they bust us to some resort nearby. But anyway, uh, so that was resort kind of stuff. Um, but it was fun. Uh, most recent trip was my wife and I celebrated our 25th anniversary right before the lockdown. It was 26 years in, technically, uh, but we couldn't <laughs> couldn't afford to do it on the 25th. But the 26th year, we were rolling in the money, um, and then lockdown. So, um, we'll never, ever go on another trip again. Mom, I think he's serious. Puerto Vallarta. We actually went to Nuevo Vallarta. It was where our, our five star, um, <laughs> which I think, <laughs> I think there's a different system of grading the stars. Uh, but it was fine. The room was fine. We just were by this, uh, smoking family and they just, it just wafted into our room the whole time. Uh, and it's, why aren't they on the same floor? You know what I mean? Shouldn't that be different? Well, they don't do, they don't do it that way. And here's what we basically did. Uh, most people, you know, adventure. Did you go parasailing? Did you go see some sites? Did you see some ruins? Did you do the things that did stuff like that? We did nothing. And that's exactly what we wanted to do. We This is what we do. This was every day. We get up in the morning, go to the beach, um, and lay there. Okay, this sounds exciting. And then... It was close to around lunchtime, and we were like, let's go get some lunch. And then we'd go get lunch, and then after that, I was like, you know what? Why don't we sit by the pool <laughs> for the afternoon? And then we'd sit by the pool, and <laughs> that was basically it. Every single day, we did nothing, and we loved it. Actually, we'd, then we'd go uh, go up to a hotel room and uh, and get ready, get casually semi-formally dressed up and go out for a you know a fancy dinner and then we go upstairs to the room and, and watch like netflix or we watch a movie like every night that's all we did and it was glorious glorious the real thing i want to talk about is mazatlan we went and did there uh, actually i brought my family on that one my, my boys along with us too this is a few years back and a comedian by the name of matt falk and his wife uh sabrina came along because uh, Matt and I were doing the Mazatlan Comedy Club. Uh, we did we do a comedy, an English comedy show for them. And uh, so we did that, and but we were there for the week. And that place, that was amazing. That was just, oh, that was, that place was awesome. Um, and we had a lot of fun. A couple of observations I'll give you from it. Uh, <laughs> one was everywhere in this particular, and we did more, by the way. With Matt and his wife there and having kids there, we actually did a few more kind of things. Go did some shopping, went to some local shops, and we'd go out to a, a different place off the off the resort. But there's everything's at the resort too and, and so it was a lot of fun. But it wasn't like this. It was better. I mean Well, I, I mean, here's what I noticed though. The the, the 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 toilet doors, like you know the stall, you go into a bathroom to sit on in the stall, they kept the doors super low. So it was awkward sometimes. You go sit in there and you're like, oh, I can, somebody walk up to you, literally look them in the eye. Hola. It's just not, not quite finito. Just got to do El Paper Worko. Just give me a uno momento. One of the worst I've ever heard. It was embarrassing. I didn't, I didn't like the, the bathroom situation there. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe it was just the area of town we were in. But, um, uh, and then they had a lot of beach vendors, which they didn't have in, in Nuevo Vallarta. Uh, and these are guys just coming along, you know, trying to sell you stuff. 
uh, basically this is what this is what the beach vendors do. They go into the community and they buy goods at a reasonable rate, uh, price, and then they come to the beach and they sell it to us tourists uh, and charge us like 15 times as much, uh, which I don't mind. I don't mind that. Right, they're they're making a living, right? It's it's fine. Some people are haggling with them. Ah, I can, and they feel so good when they've gotten a great deal. And it's like, dude's just trying to feed his family. Like, do you have to be that hardcore to save two dollars? It's nothing personal, Jack. It's just good business. Those were, they were fine. That was fun. Here's what I didn't like about it. Uh, the one dude, um, every day. So I got my kids there. Got my wife there. Every day he walks up to my wife and starts talking about, you should buy something for your boyfriend. You want to buy something for the boyfriend? Um, that's probably a terrible accent and I apologize. Um, and he knew we were married. He could see the wedding rings on our finger. We got family here. He, can, he knows, he knows. He's just saying that boyfriend thing just to get under my skin. I know he was doing that. And one of the last days he's coming by and I finally said something. He's like, yeah, buy something for your, your boyfriend. You buy a watch. A watch for your boyfriend? And I was like, or her husband. And he was like, him too. So that was, um, yeah. And then she bought two watches. So that's that's what bothered me. I was okay with it until then. I got one, I got one of the watches. Does she not love me? We were boogie boarding. So you, you're not surfing there. The waves aren't quite high enough. There's kind of an, an island there, so so uh, an island nearby. So I think that was kind of blocking some of the waves. You weren't getting the huge waves to surf, but boogie boarding, it's like a, a floatable thing. You go on your chest, you run out. If you hit a wave just right and you turn on it, it just sends you skimming along, flying along, and it's awesome and it's super fun. So we were doing that. My wife was out there, and the boys were out there, and we were just just having a great time doing it. And it was just nothing but pure white sand beach, and then this rock underneath the water that no one said anything about. Nobody flagged it. Nobody said, hey, be careful. And of course, I bash my knee on that as I'm skim boogie boarding like, look at that fast. <laughs> it hurt so much. She'll cry about it. I was in a lot of pain, okay? But my wife's, she's cold. She's, you don't want to get sick in our house. My wife has, She'll take care of you. She'll bring you some soup for like 15 minutes. And then that's it. That's all she's got patience for, for, for sickness or illness, right? So here's some soup. And then like 15 minutes later, she's like, ah, either get better or die. I don't care which. Like she doesn't have a lot. Yeah, not a lot of patience. So she sees me and I'm like grabbing my, ah, my leg. And, and she was like, oh, suck it up. That's what she said. She said, suck it up. Oh, suck it up, princess. It probably looked worse than it was, but it started to bleed down my leg from the from the where I had bashed it, and then it had scraped and it dug in pretty deep, and so it was actually the blood was actually flowing pretty good. So it, in fairness to her, it probably looked worse than it was, but I was like, I'm going in, I'm bleeding, like my whole leg was like getting red with blood. So I'm walking back in, and uh, and I can see I'm actually leaving a trail of blood as I walk along the beach back to the thing, right? And all the locals are looking at me and they're like, what the heck? And, uh, and I'm a comedian, so I like to make jokes and stuff, right? Well, what? So I was like, you think this is bad, you should see the shark. <laughs> that, was my, that was my joke. Here's the thing I didn't, I didn't uh, realize. They didn't understand English, but there was a word that they did recognize, an English word that they did recognize, and that was shark. Because <laughs> they just all were like, Right, and uh, they they all they left. They left the beach. <laughs> uh, just it wasn't everybody because I didn't. So, anyways, I got some care. I I, I kind of uh, I bandaged it up, and it was actually just I, I, as soon as I bandaged it up and, and, and cleaned it up, it was actually it wasn't bad. So it was she was I hate to say it, but she was kind of right. But, uh, but I was feeling better. It was a little bit later in the afternoon. And I was like, uh, my son wanted to go out and boogie board again. So I was like, let's do it. I'm, this time I'm going to go. Uh, I'm bandaged up. Should be fine. I grabbed the boogie board as I'm heading out there. My wife said this to me. And she said, as I'm walking out there, she's like, hey, aren't sharks attracted to blood? And uh, she was trying to get in my head. 
because I had bandaged it, but there's still some open wound. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm saying. So we get out there and we were doing some boogie boarding and I was already a little paranoid. And then I swore I saw something in one of the waves coming up, <laughs> just skimmed across. I was like, was that a, it, to me, it was either a really big fish or a small shark. And I was like, I'm not about to put my life in my own hands. That doesn't make any sense. I'm not risking my life for this. So I just booted her back to the beach, sat down on the beach. And I told my wife what happened. I was like in the wave. And then there was like either a really big fish or a small shark. And I'm not about to risk my own life. And she was like, oh, okay. So you left your son out there? And I was like, oh, that's right. He'll be fine. That's cold. Subscribe. Uh, hit the notification bell below. And uh, you can hear more stories of <laughs> me and my pathetic life. See you next time.